the Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. I was a GM in Chicago when we drafted Michael. Uh, we were third. Portland passed on Michael because they had Clyde Drexler and they had Jim Paxson. Paxson was an all-star. Uh, Drexler was certainly a coming all-star, and they felt they did not need a wing, so they didn't take Michael because of that. I knew Elijah on would be one, Sam Bowie would be two, and Michael Jordan would be sitting there for us. We were happy that Portland had two all-star, two guards, and Drexler, who was a really tremendous, tremendous player, and Jim Paxson. So we were in pretty good shape getting Michael. Drafting Michael Jordan would prove the greatest personnel move in Bulls history. But the team nearly had the opportunity to trade away the foundation for six eventual titles before he ever arrived. In his book, Tip Off, How the 1984 Draft Changed Basketball Forever, Philip Bondi tells the story of a potential deal that would have changed the course of NBA history. It was a book about choices and what ifs. What if the uh, Houston Rockets had offered Ralph Sampson to the Chicago Bulls uh, as trade bait for Jordan, for that Jordan pick at number three? And, at, and the Bulls would have taken that one. Who, would have, who could have resisted Ralph Sampson after his rookie season? That's right. As improbable as it sounds today, the Rockets might have teamed 21-year-old rookies Hakeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan in Houston by giving up the reigning Rookie of the Year. Ralph Sampson would have been enough. I, I'm sure of it, and I think that uh, Rod had hinted that at, to me at, at one point when I was writing the book, researching the book. Sampson would have been enough. Oh, we, we had several uh, chances to trade that pick that year. Uh, we never, you know, it was never anything really serious, but we, you know, you always have talks, you know, about different things. The Bulls had talks about Jordan because Philly was the one who really wanted him because Billy Cunningham is there running the team. So Philly's offering everything. You know, Andrew Tony before he got hurt, is the best two guard in the league. So they're offering two firsts plus Andrew Tony. So the Bulls, to Rod's credit, he understood Jordan was something special. And, you know, and he, he rejected these other offers. I'm not looking forward to going in and trying to uh, live up to everyone else's expectations. I just want to go in and contribute the best way I could. And, uh, you know, just look forward to whatever coach you want. Rod Thorne knew that Michael Jordan was going to be very good, but nobody knew that he was going to be as good as he turned out to be. Nobody. The first practice um, they have there, both the Asian Guard Guardian Jim and Kevin Lockery is the coach. And now this is the first preseason practice. Jordan has shown up. He's played great in the Olympics, but it's still an amateur tournament for the most part. So nobody quite knows. He shows up in the first practice, and he's just dominating. I mean, they saw it, but they didn't know until then, until he showed up and said, whoa, what the hell we got here? When we had Michael as the rookie, we started our one-on-one -on -one drill. But when we see how he could take that ball any way he wanted on the floor, I mean, this is really a strong young man at the time. We knew that he would be an all-star immediately. Didn't know he might have been, be the best player to play. He's quick and he can jump, and I'm slow and I can't jump, so um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody perform like he does. Uh, you know, you take away his jumping ability, he can still be a great basketball player. Jordan, of course, went on to become the greatest player of his generation and arguably ever, leading the Bulls to six titles. Olajuwon played 16 seasons in Houston, spearheading the Rockets to the 1994 and 95 championships. But what if MJ and Akeem had played together? What if the trade described in Bonnie's book, Samson to Chicago for the number three pick, had come to pass? I mean... We'd all be having a lot of jewelry on right now if that would have happened. I mean, um, the idea of Jordan and Elijah because you, know, you think about Michael's run, the first three and the last three punctuated by two Rocket Championships. I mean, it's, it's unimaginable. Not only are they transcendent superstars, but they're complementary transcendent superstars. As it is, they combined for eight championships, put them together, and they pretty much could have named the total.